we're going to take a look at another type of story problem, trying to figure out are we multiplying, dividing, is it an array, repeated groups, or area. There are four students sitting at each group, so I can already see some clues. There's four students at each group of desks. If there are 28 students total, how many groups of desks are there? Well, that gives me a clue. I'm not going to multiply. It's not telling me times more, um, so that's not going to be a good choice. Dividing, though, it's saying I have a total of 28 students, four students at each group. That tells me there's the same amount at each group, and I want to know how many groups there are. So that would be dividing, since you're dividing out the same amount. If there were different, a different amount of students at each group, it wouldn't work. But since there's four at each group, we're trying to figure out how many groups there that can be made with 28 students. So we are dividing. That tells me it's not an array. There's not rows and columns. It's not area. We're not taking a width and a length of something. We're repeating groups, the students at the desk, and trying to figure out how many groups there are. So that equation would be how many students total that are in the class, 28, divided by the four students at each, each group with our question mark of how many groups are there. Well, if you don't know what 28 divided by 4 is, you can relate it to multiplication. 4 times what will give you 28. You could also draw a picture. Here's my four groups for the four students at each group. Now we're going to figure out how many groups there are by dividing the 28 out among the four groups. You have to be careful to get the same amount in each one and to make sure you can see each individual dot so you don't miscount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 28 divided by 4 equals 7. You could have also counted up by 4s for 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and realized that took 7 times. And you could have done the multiplication you do know, such as 4 times 5 is 20, and, it take, and 4 times 2 is 8, and add those two together to get 28. So based on this problem, how many groups of deaths are there? There are 7 groups of four students to equal a to total of 28 students. Okay. Now you. Mitch decided to organize his pencils into three equal groups. The equal part is important. If he has 21 pencils, how many are in each group? 